Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today we've got Color Rush released in Madden Ultimate Team. We get packs, we get the jerseys, and we get some new players. So let's go over these right now. We'll start out with the bundle. We also got some solo challenges, I believe. Uh, but let's start out with the bundle. We get, we still have the Legend packs in the store for 22 more hours, but now we have the new Color Rush pack and the Color Rush bundle. So the Color Rush pack contains three guaranteed Color Rush items. Uh, eight gold or better players, three silver players, and three team items. This is actually not a bad deal if you were looking to spend some money this weekend on Madden Ultimate Team. This isn't a horrible deal. The collectibles are currently going for about 7k plus, depending on what you, uh, depending on what team you pull, and depending on it. I believe you can pull the blank jersey. So depending on if you pull a blank jersey or not, uh, it can yield you a lot. So you know if you open the seven pack bundle. You're going to get 29 Color Rush items. Uh, multiply that by like 7k. That's 210,000. So it's not a bad deal if you go ahead and rip this now. Uh, then you get all the players obviously too. So not a horrible deal. I will not be opening one. But it is a good deal. And I believe that is it. But it also the gold uh, is the exact same as the uh, Legend Pack. Except the Color Rush actually gives you silver players. Uh, so the Color Rush actually for 50 extra points is actually the better buy over the Legends pack. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the Solo Challenge. Let's take a look at these. I was hoping to get this out before football, but I don't think it's going to happen. But these are the uniforms that are going to be used on Thursday night, obviously. This gives you 5,900 coins as well as some collectibles. Uh, it's a, was that a 10? Yeah, it's a 10 game sequence here. Uh, you get a color collectible pack after the first game. You get a blank uniform after the third game. After the fourth game, you get another color collectible pack. Then another blank uniform after, is it the fifth game? Yeah, after the fifth game. Uh, after the sixth game, you get another color collectible pack, another blank uniform, uh, color collectible pack, blank uniform, and then a rush to color uh, elite collectible, which we'll get into right now. I have a window pulled up on Mutthead to go over the players because obviously not mid, and I don't think I think there's only one up right now. So, but we'll go into the sets here. Color Rush, 35 sets. We'll go over the top three in a second. But you have all the all the player or all the team uh, jerseys, and they now come with a chemistry boost. Uh, four three. It looks like it's just the generic ones. Four three zone run. Three four verticals. Uh, West Coast. Well, those Chargers jerseys are nice. I might have to, I might have to get those. You also have to put players into these. Uh, I believe, yeah, it's three golds, four silvers, four bronze. It's kind of an expensive price to pay. Probably just buy the jerseys if they're auctionable. Okay, they're not auctionable, so you actually have to trade them in to get these. I doubt I'll end up doing any of these, even though some of them look really nice. The Chiefs one looks about the same, so. I'm not sure why I'd want to do that. Same with the Colts. But you can see it's just the generic um, chemistries that pretty much every, every player has. So I'm not sure why you would need these that badly for that. But it is an option. So let's get into the top three um, co collections. So we have the laundry. This is 32 any NFL alternate jerseys. Which is kind of annoying because it's like these jerseys. Like I don't want to trade those in to get a blank uniform. Uh, then we have the Color Rush Elite Player, which you trade in three Elite, or you trade in eight Elite Color Rush collectibles. These things can be acquired from solo challenges, head-to-head -head events, or in packs. Um, I'm not sure what the drop rate on these is out of packs, but it's probably decent, I think, because there is one up and these just released. There is a Color Rush Elite Player up and these just released, and if you're able to get 32 of those collectibles and throw them into this set, you will get the Color Rush Master Set completed. You add four of the Color Rush collectibles from the Color Rush Elite Player Set to unlock 90 overall running back, Todd Gurley with ankle break chemistry, and the new special energized ability uh, with stamina. It, it has to do with stamina, which stamina is horrible in this game, so it's actually not a bad deal. But you don't get a collectible from this, so this isn't necessary to do for any upcoming um or for any upcoming Mutt Master or anything like that. So you don't need to get this finished. Uh, but if you happen to get it done, not a bad deal to get yourself a 90 overall Todd Gurley. 
and he'll probably sell in the range of three to four hundred K, so not a bad deal at all. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, auction house real quick, and then I'll read you off the players that got released. There's the only one up, which is CJ Mosley. I guess I'm not going to go and filter this too much, but there's the CJ Mosley. 86 overall, only one up, going for 200k. He's got 85 speed, 86 awareness, 90 tackle, 86 play recognition, 84 block shed, 91 pursuit, 71 zone coverage, and 86 hit power. And now let me go ahead and swap on over. So we also, you get the 90 overall, Todd Gurley, obviously. There's also an 89 cornerback, Chris Harris. These are the ones that you can pull from the pack. Uh, 88 overall, Leonard Williams. Uh, 88 overall, Russell Wilson. 87 overall, Namaro Bowman. 87 overall, Kyle Long. 87 overall, Gerald McCoy. 86 overall, Jarvis Landry. 86 overall, CJ Mosley that I just showed you. 86 overall, Trent Williams. 85 overall, Gary Barnage. 85 overall, Kareem Jackson. And 85 overall, Terrence Williams. There are 12 different cards, which means... Pulling the Chris Harris, though I'm guessing the Chris Harris, Leonard Williams, Russell Wilson, Navarro Bowman, and maybe the Jarvis Landry will be the expensive cards out of this. I don't know what Jarvis Landry's stats are, so I can't really talk on that. But those look to be the expensive cards. But guys, that's going to do it. That is the new Color Rush sets that are in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace out.